In this video, we'll talk about the B2B or business to business sales process. Now, if you sell your products and services to another business, you can be guaranteed to spend a lot more time on your sales cycle compared to selling directly to consumers. Depending on the size of the sales deal, as well as the size and maybe the level of bureaucracy of the organization you're dealing with, a single sales cycle can easily take up to a year from the moment you've established contacts all the way up to the moment you've signed the deal. And that's because in a B2B sale, a few more factors and steps are involved compared to a B2C sale. You'll go from meeting to meeting with different people within the same organization. And you might even spend a lot of time trying to find the real decision maker. And even if that person is interested in what you have to offer right from the start, he or she still has to go through all of the red tape from within the organization and discuss all of the formalities. It's rare for a B2B sale to be dealing with only one person. Usually a lot of different people are involved in the sales process. Oftentimes your proposition has to gain approval from a whole board of executives or fit within a specific type of budget. So all of these elements tend to make your sale as a B2B company a little bit more complicated. It's even more important to realize that the decision maker is not necessarily the person that benefits from your solution. So that's why it's crucial for the decision maker to understand the value you deliver for the entire organization. You might have to work around the conflict between the needs and pains of the end user and the needs and pains of the person who makes the purchasing decision. So it's not just about the value proposition of your products and services to the end user but as much about the value proposition you deliver for the entire organization. That's why it's crucial to gather as many insights into the organization as possible. What are all the different incentives of all the people involved in the sales process? And can your solution provide enough value for all of them? Misaligned incentives and internal politics could easily steer up your sales process. And when that happens, you might have to wait a long time before you're able to close your sales deal.